Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I want to talk about false belief systems and how they can take over our minds, brainwash us and bring us into cult mentality. All of this, of course, aka veganism. Veganism is so deceptive, so alluring, and it brings people to think that they found the ultimate truth. How can you be so ignorant? That audacity to believe that you found the ultimate truth after practicing a worldly technique, worldly knowledge for a couple of months. Only veganism will brainwash you to that extent that you will really believe that you are right. Let's say you're into rock music. Let's say you love rock music. Would you have the audacity to say, you know what, every other music is simply false simply bad, simply evil, right? Only rock music is good. Everything else, bad. That is the mind state that vegans brainwash themselves into. Of course, it is reinforced by organizations such as the World Health Organization. I'm going to post a link in the description box so you can check that even that organization has been infiltrated by vegetarian slash vegan dogma agenda. As vegans, you believe that everybody in human history is wrong. Everybody. Just like slave owners back in the day. Everybody that acquired nutrition through natural food sources, such as meat and eggs, is bad. Your parents, bad. Your grandparents, bad. Everybody bad. Everybody wrong. Just the vegans have it right. It is a brainwashing that comes with social conditioning. As kids you grow up and you watch Disney and you see Bambi good, Hunter bad. You see that all of those animals that have been humanized are your friends. You've been removed from nature. You do not even see what it truly takes to get nutrition if you are in a natural environment. And therefore you appeal to science. Scientism. Everything nowadays can be falsified. Studies can be misinterpreted, misrepresented, absolutely falsified. But you're going to believe it, right? You're going to believe Neil deGrasse Tyson telling you about the cosmos. Veganism is an appeal to authority. The whole thing crumbles if you observe it logically and rationally. If you look at veganism, you will see a privileged movement that is funded by big organizations. Joey Carbstrong, Earthling Ed. They're all pushing the fake meats. Why is that so? Why is Tyson Meats investing in plant-based meats? Nobody ever questions what is going on. Nobody questions that cellulose is not digestible for human beings. Nobody ever asks what our species-specific diet is. We follow dogma. We are omnivores. We can choose what we want to eat. And on top of that, we have a linear evolutionary progress where we can evolve into vegans now. Right? We're not cavemen any longer. Now we're gonna get Elon Musk's neural link. And we're gonna become transhuman vegans. Can't wait. Right? Can't wait. I was in the same camp. Who cares that our thoughts are being observed? Who cares that our social media is being monitored? Who cares that our webcams are filming us? Google listening to us? Who cares, right? It will give me better recommendations for the next vegan restaurant. It's absolutely fantastic. What? You don't believe me? You're a science denier, right? Are you a science denier? Doesn't matter that science denier sounds pretty familiar. Where did I hear that denier, denier? Hmm, I don't know. Could it be that they want to produce negative connotations with that? Hmm? Global warming denier, science denier, vegan denier. Vegans pretty soon will get new privileges. They will be accepted as a religion, as a religion that cannot be offended any longer. It will be hate speech, just like the LGBT movement, right? Let's call it LGBTV, right, for vegans. We cannot offend the vegans any longer, because by default, they are right. They are right anyways. The biggest issue are not the vegans, but the people that follow the agenda without being vegan. Politicians, actors, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Can't believe that I'm sitting here and talking about my childhood idol. This is the world that we're living in nowadays. Nutritionists like Abby Sharp. 
people of that kind that are not vegan themselves that truly understand that they cannot be vegan but hey the masses can right and if i promote something good then i will be voted into office because by default eating plants good eating meat bad i watched a video of a vegan activist claiming that he would die 20 or 30 years earlier if it would mean to do the right thing not questioning that the right thing must of course be the right thing on every single level right it must be universally true so to speak the right thing in his ideology was to eat vegan to malnourish himself and to die earlier because of that but as long as you're not killing animals you are right of course that makes sense i'm denying my body my natural food source i'm denying it i'm denying my body proper nutrition i'm denying my body the best digestible food source but killing animals is bad veganism is the single-handedly most dangerous movement at the moment it is a movement that will malnourish our children it is a movement that will destroy our society as is once it comes to that point that we cannot question veganism any longer I don't have to tell you in what dark times we will find ourselves in. It is an absolute destructive movement that is being promoted by useful idiots. Useful idiots that are being paid off by Beyond Meat and other plant-based organizations or lab-grown meat even. Those people are useful idiots that are working for the agenda without knowing what is going on. We're living in brainwashed times where real vegans fail horribly. We have all the evidence we need. We see that everybody that tries a vegan diet fails sooner than later. We do not have long-term civilizations that are vegan. But we have organizations in place, the World Health Organization, that will tell us it is totally alright to malnourish yourself with plants. You can do it to your children as well. Never question veganism. The religion of veganism, protected by law. Never get the idea to question veganism. Of course not, why would you? Be a good consumer by the plant-based meat. It goes all hand in hand. The rabbit hole goes very deep. This is a rant video, but I will do precise videos on exposing the agenda behind this plant-based movement. We will expose the origins of veganism. We will expose who is funding it. Just as we did with Earthling Ed, Edward Gaunt. Just as we did with Happy Healthy Vegan, Ryan, the lying politician. We will expose every single one of them, the World Health Organization and beyond. This is what this channel truly is. This is why we will go to Australia and expose the plant production as well. So everybody can see, no, it is not by default righteous to eat plants when you have billions of crop deaths. Guys, the vegan agenda is pushing forward, it's marching forward and it's coming for our food source. We have to stand up, we have to unite. We have to communicate, we have to keep it transparent with each other. We cannot follow those doctrines and promote an agenda that will endanger our children and the future of humanity. This is not a world that I want to live in. This is why I make this video. This is why I have this channel. It is about truth seeking, understanding, but we're talking about ultimate truth, about universal truths. And of course, to acquire universal truths without sounding like a pretentious fuck, you have to go within. You have to go within and those practices can be different for many. I have very good Turkish friends and they follow the Islam. And I can see that Islam has certain belief systems that can help those people out to become better humans. As humans, we are flawed. We always have subjective experiences and perspectives. And therefore, how can we claim that we have universal truths? How can the vegans claim that they have universal truths? That they can remove themselves from nature and see themselves as some sort of new entity? Still an animal, just like a cow. The dog is not different than a pig. I'm not different than a cow. But I shouldn't act upon my urges. I shouldn't act like a lion. It is a totally misconstructed misrepresentation of what is going on. It is a total misrepresentation of nature and everything that is happening in this world. A man-made dogmatic belief system that will brainwash you to that extent that you will believe that you know it all. 
you know everything right you know exactly how humans came to be you know exactly how this planet came to be science science as terence mckenna said science operates under the premise grant us one miracle and we explain the rest what he meant is give us the big bang and now we're going to explain every phenomenon everything that science does is observing phenomena within this creation within this realm within this world whatever it is and then you look at numbers and then you try to comprehend how can you truly comprehend what is good and evil how can you especially from a vegan perspective most vegans are moral relativists right morals are relative ethics it all follows human rights but in order to name the trait we have to totally devoid it of humanity humanity as a trait is not accepted in the vegan worldview of course not because it's an anti-human religion this is not about human health it has nothing to do with it vegans sterilize themselves they do not care about health they do not care about babies they do not care about families vegans are the true luciferian manifestation nothing more and nothing less a nihilistic anti-natalist movement anti-human against everything but for the animals right we're gonna pick and choose there is no universal truth there are no universal morals everything can be tampered with but not with the animals right the animals are holy they're worshiping animals over universal truth all right guys but this video is long enough it was just a rant let me know in the comment section below what you think about those spontaneous rants what you think about those random thoughts if you like this type of content i will do more of it however this channel will focus on exposing the agenda in depth all right guys this is it for today if you want to support the channel the links are in the description box amazon links patreon links butcher box and cbd oils all in the description box for you if you like the video, it helps a lot if you leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.